Hey everyone, Mirage Fly here with the pre-alpha multiplayer demo for Company of Heroes 3. Today we'll be looking at the Wehrmacht teching structure that is currently in place. This will be a brief overview to show how the faction develops and some of their special core mechanics. We will not be looking at the battle groups that are available in this video. Alright, from what we see here from our first HQ building, we have the structures available down below, with our starting building being the Infantry Company. We will also note that our starting pioneers cannot build base structures. They can only build field defenses. All the building that happens for the Wehrmacht is done by pioneers coming out from the HQ to build these structures, so you can send your first squad off to capture the map. As for the infantry company itself, there are four units available. We have grenadiers, the machine gun team, a mortar team, and a sniper. The building also has two more abilities at the bottom. One is to transfer grenadiers for Jaegerlite infantry, or transfer grenadiers for Panzer grenadiers. We'll get into more detail on that later. We are ready. After the infantry company has been deployed, the Panzer grenadier and Luftwaffe company buildings become available. Costing the same amount of resources, both buildings offer different playstyles and units. The Panzer grenadier building comes with Panzer grenadiers. The Pack 40 anti tank gun, and the 251 half track. It can also produce the Stug 3G and the Nebelwerfer after you have purchased the Advanced Assault Tactics upgrade. The Luftwaffe building provides Jaeger Light Infantry, the 221 Scout Car, and the 2 cm flak gun. The Wind and the Martyr 3 in this building are locked behind the Advanced Assault Tactics. The units locked behind Advanced Assault Tactics become available in their respective building even if you purchased it from the other. This means you do not need to invest further in the building outside the initial building cost. The final building available to the Wehrmacht is the Panzer Company, which is available to be built after the Infantry Company has been deployed. While it can be established as your second building, the amount of resources required means that you'll generally go into the Panzer Grenadier or Luftwaffe Company buildings first. As for units available in the Panzer Company, you have Stoss Truppen, the Panzer IV, and Sturmpanzer Veer. The building has no other upgrades or functions outside its capability of producing units. One of the newest additions to the Wehrmacht this time around in the current system is the Field Marshals. A sort of sub-commander pick, this choice is immediately available from the start and is found on the left side of your screen. Each field marshal provides a series of benefits and upgrades for your units, as well as deciding the Veteran C1 ability that your units will get. These abilities are subdivided into infantry, tanks, support weapons, and light vehicles. The choices that you get in-game are set in stone, and they are special operations, mechanized, and defense, and each one gives different bonuses and upgrades, with the most notable aspect in the early game being that Grenadiers get a special grenade. Special Operations they get Incendiary, Mechanize gets a Stick Grenade, and Defense gets the Rifle Grenade. Do note once you lock into a Field Marshal, this choice is permanent, and you're unable to select a new one. The system, however, is also free, and you do not need to invest time or resources into it. You get all the Field Marshal's capabilities the moment you lock in. It should be noted in the current pre-alpha, these Field Marshals only affect the core units in your army, with units like the Panzer IV Command Tank being unaffected. The final unique mechanic available to the Wehrmacht in their core arsenal is the transfer system that we mentioned earlier. After the Panzer Grenadier or Luftwaffe structures have been built, you have the option to transfer Grenadiers out for advanced infantry. Your access to Panzer Grenadiers or Jaeger squads depends on which tech structure you have placed. Panzer Grenadiers need the Panzer Grenadier Company, and Jaegers require the Luftwaffe structure. To transfer units out, you require a Grenadier squad that is at full strength, and in this build of the game, you also require an additional 160 manpower. To transfer your unit out, you select the Infantry Company, and select which type of squad you would want in place of your Grenadiers. Your Grenadiers will move to the structure, and then be removed from the game. After a short period of time, the new squad will then spawn on the infantry company. Do note with the current system, 
Any veterancy the Grenadiers have gained is lost and is not applied to the fresh squad. Now the final thing you need to know for the pre-alpha demo is that the Wehrmacht healing is now on the HQ. After paying a cost to upgrade your HQ, all infantry units around the building will be healed. And unlike Company of Heroes 2, you do not need to deal with medics running from soldier to soldier. Your troops are simply healed up by being next to the HQ.